What's up, everybody? In this segment, I'm going to be talking about setting boundaries, and I'm going to be looking at this. This is going to be part one of two parts, one from the from internal or biblical or, uh, or from the spiritual aspect, and then I'm going to do one from a more of a natural aspect in part number two. And while the Bible doesn't explicitly mention the term boundaries as a psychological or interpersonal concept, it does provide guidance and principles that can be applied to set the healthy boundaries in relationships in life. And here are some Bible verses um, that addresses themes related to establishing boundaries, uh, personal responsibility, and maintaining healthy relationships in Proverbs 4.23. And um, all is going to be in the NIV version. Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. This verse emphasizes the importance of protecting your heart, which can be interpreted as setting boundaries to protect your emotional well-being. Ephesians 4.26, in your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. This verse suggests addressing conflicts or issues promptly and not allowing negative emotions to linger, which could res relate to resolving boundaries in relationships. Uh, Proverbs 25.17, seldom set foot in your neighbor's house. Too much of you and they will hate you. This verse illustrates the importance of respecting personal space and boundaries of others. Matthew 5, 37. All you need to say is simply yes or no. Nothing beyond this, anything beyond this, I'm sorry, comes from the evil one. This verse encourages simplicity and honesty in communication, which can involve setting clear boundaries by saying yes or no as you need to. 1 Corinthians 6 and 12, I have the right um, to do anything, you say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but I will not be mastered by anything. This verse speaks about self-control and choosing what is beneficial, suggesting the need to establish healthy limits. In Galatians um, 6 and 5, uh, for each one should carry his own load. This verse emphasizes personal responsibility and not shouldering burdens that are not yours to bear, hinting at the importance of setting boundaries in helping others. 2 Corinthians 6, 14, um, do not be yoked together with unbelievers for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common or what fellowship can light have with darkness? While this verse primarily addresses spiritual matters and highlights the importance of aligning oneself with compatible values and boundaries, these verses, among others in the Bible, offer principles and wisdom that can guide individuals in setting healthy boundaries, practicing self-care, respecting others' boundaries, and maintaining balanced relationships. While the concept of boundaries might not be explicitly stated, these biblical principles can be applied in various interpersonal situations to promote healthy boundaries and, and, and well-being in throughout our relationship, our life and our relationships. So these are some keys that can that help you understand that it is important to set boundaries. There are many times people do not know how to set boundaries or they just don't know how to tell other people no or tell them no you've gone too far you've said too much much this is acceptable this is not acceptable you come over my house every single day you need to stop coming learning how to set boundaries is 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 quintessential to your um, spiritual growth and development so i hope some of these principles helped you from a spiritual standpoint there's a lot of other scriptures that can be applied to setting boundaries but here's a few that can help help you on that journey this is elder stacy zanders be looking out for part two of a more natural um, aspect of setting boundaries in in your um uh, relationships with individuals in your work life, that will be part two of setting boundaries. But as always, God bless you.